Hi guys, 18 Dap here and welcome to this match day vlog Carabao Cup action round two. We are welcoming Premier League opposition. It's Doncaster Rovers versus Everton at the Eco Power Stadium. Looking forward to this one. Let's get into it. So guys, welcome to this one, match day vlog. It's the one that all lower league fans want to happen. We're welcoming Premier League opposition, some big boys, to our ground. And hopefully there's an upset on the cards. Um, it's two teams that are in poor form. If you want to hear my thoughts in a little bit more detail, I'll link the preview in the top corner of the screen. It's a cut game, it's a one-off, anything can happen. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for supporting the channel and continuing to do so. Um, you'll know the format of match day vlogs. If this video has brought you to the channel then uh, welcome and please consider clicking subscribe if you want to get to know lower league football a little bit better um, but for everybody who has seen videos before and you know the format there's going to be a slight change because I am an overweight aging man <laughs> I was exercising at the gym yesterday and my left calf popped um, I thought it was a ruptured Achilles luckily it's not that bad but it's still pretty bad. It is a, uh, a torn calf muscle. Um, so I'm struggling to walk. So unfortunately fans thoughts and all of that stuff that normally happens in a match day vlog won't be happening today. Uh, doctor said that I need to kind of walk a little bit just to keep it from seizing up. So I'm going to use the opportunity to hobble from the car park <laughs> to my seat and hopefully watch an entertaining 90 minutes of football plus potentially penalties depending on the score. So I apologise in advance if you look forward to fans thoughts. It's a, it's a section of the vlog that I really enjoy doing, speaking to visiting spectators and Rovers fans as well. So I'm going to miss doing that. Uh, we'll try and get the family's thoughts um, in the ground. Um, but like I say, I'll just be hobbling in and sitting down um, and watching and we'll bring you along so it will just be the game and um, hopefully capture some celebrations capture the atmosphere because it seems like it's going to be a bit of a sellout or close to it so looking forward to it it's always nice to see the eco power stadium with lots of people in so without further ado let's get down to the ground and hobble in and take a seat So we've hobbled to the ground, we're just about in. Um, quick score prediction, I've gone 2-1, obviously this is not going towards his, uh, his table, so it's just a bit of fun right. with it being the cup. Yeah. What are you going with, mate? 2-1 uh, Donny. 2-1 Donny, yeah. yeah. We've got Miles in on end, are you whacking a score prediction in, mate? 1-0 Donny. 1-0 Donny, we'll take that. Yeah. Do you think it's just that one-off game, isn't it? You've got to, yeah. got to go for it, be up for it, and hopefully get through to round three. Yeah against the team that's rock bottom of Premiership, so we've got to have a chance, haven't we? Losing 4-0 against Aston Villa, yeah. we have to be good. But we are rock bottom of League 2 as well, so it doesn't look good for us, does it? So, we've all gone Rovers wins, let's get my dad, Chris, Anthony, um, and whoever. And, yeah, and whoever else wants to get in, and then watch the first half. Quick prediction, Anthony. 6-0 Everton. 6-0 Everton, there we go. <laughs> Chris, I've gone 2-1 to Donny, what's your thoughts? Donny win on penalties. Got a win, haven't we? Donny win on penalties. There we yeah. go. Dad? Get people coming to me because I can't move. <laughs> you want what? Get people coming to me because I can't move. Yeah, you can't uh, move. Lads injured. Yeah. Quick score. Going out of bed this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Too quickly. Uh, yeah, I'll go for 1 1 and always to win on penalties. Well, there we go. So confidence right. in the family. Let's I'm not go. overly confident. Well, I'm just going for 1 1 and always to win yeah, on penalties. We've, we've got a lot of wins. Anthony's gone 6 0 Everton. So uh, let's go and watch the first half. <laughs> That's more realistic. <laughs>
Everton have got quality. Um, we will see what happens. Should be 2-0 up. Come on, Luke. This. We are 14 minutes in and been end to end. Dover's probably had the better opportunities and we're forcing the issue. Um, but yeah, still 0-0 no -no at the minute. Very impressed with the start that we made here. first only 20. We need to capitalise on these opportunities that we've, uh, we've created this early part of the first half. If not, I think the quality of, uh, of Everton will end up coming to the top at some point. Um, but yeah, still 0-0 at the minute, giving a very good showing of ourselves, which I'm happy about. Can we get that goal before the inevitable happens? 30 minutes gone, still no no.
just told we finally cracked and that was a wonderful finish beautiful little touch beyond Lola who was rushing out a great ball through uh, Beto has just gone to the end of it and just that's what money gets you that, that lovely little touch just slots it past him um, we don't deserve to be to be pegged back in my opinion I think there was a shout for a penalty earlier on um, great effort so far but we've got 15 minutes now to get back in front and, and win this tie so 73 gone 1-1 level has just dipped so much since the first half and since we've conceded that goal it's one way traffic so there's a big one winner here I think we've got to try and take it on to penalties the yeah, effort level across the 90th and superb like I said at half time so proud of this team for the effort that they're putting today and that's what I wanted to see against Premier League opposition I just hope that we can hold on and, and go through the lottery of, of penalties um, but at the minute, yeah, one way traffic. Everton just hit the post and the crossbar in quick succession. Still 1 1. The football. Said. and it's heartbreak. Everton have been playing the ball around really well this 45 minutes have obviously had the hair dry treatment at half time. I think we've just run out of steam. As I've been saying, missed opportunities in the first half. We should have been maybe more, well, we should have been more in front than one goal at half time in my opinion. And I think it'd have been a mountain to climb for Everton. Only being one down um, or one up for the Rovers gave Everton something to chase and, and as soon as they've scored it's been one way traffic. Gutted, absolutely gutted, but proud of the boys for a superb performance against Premier League opposition. Um, we will see if we can carry that into the league. And, and I think if we, perform, if we perform like this in League Two, we'll be winning more games than, than what we've seen so far this season. Um, just absolutely gutted that it's ended on 88 minutes. It'd be nice to take it to penalties, but it's been one way traffic. Um, Everton probably deserved to, to be 2 1 up after their second half performance have been the, the better team this second 45 we should be further ahead in the first 45 but that's football 89 gone ticking yeah we're going to tick into added time now have we got that one last push let's go and have a look that's a good ball I think this is going to tick out to a 2-1 Everton win um, gutted absolutely gutted I think we we played them off the park first 45 should have been further ahead um, but just couldn't finish his chances and like we were just saying we don't think the tactic was to soak up the pressure to begin with and then here's in the second half but they've controlled the ball they've done really well in the second half they've seen the, the level difference uh, the second 45 we just ran out of steam because we put so much into that first half I'll say it again so so proud of this performance but it means very little if we don't take it into the league so on to Saturday Swindon here hopefully we can perform like this and we've got a good chance of coming away with something and getting his first win on the board but yeah so good not to get something from this either on to penalties or, or a win um, I think we deserved we deserved that but we've just lost the ball and it's looking like Everton could make it three that's offside the ball and we just kind of stood statuesque it, we're knackered we're knackered and this is ticking to a 2-1 defeat unfortunately we're out of the cup but so proud of this performance I'm going to leave it here if you've enjoyed it big thumbs up on it for us please comment in the section down below subscribe if you haven't already and as always thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one that was full time we're out of the cup Everton got away with one there I believe see you in the next one